and your husband is into drugs or into adultery, if you can praise God in the middle of a crisis, my sister, the crisis is not going to stay. You are going to see a solution. God will be your rescuer who will turn around the situation. It's not the first situation. Your situation does not surprise God. Your situation does not amaze God because someone had been in this life far much worse than what you are going through and that person made it in life. You know why? Because it said God has given and God has taken away. Bless the name of the Lord. If after the report that your house is gone because of bug using gold and your son was drowned in a flood and you can say, Lord, I will praise you even though my son is gone, the house is gone and I still have the debt to pay at the bank, I will still praise you. I am telling you, sister, I want you to understand the principle of double portion. Say with me, double portion. Ramagaya Sika, Filipinos in Hong Kong, this is the day of restoration. principle of double portion. We have read Job chapter 1. Let's navigate to the last book of Job. Go there. In the last chapter of Job, in Job chapter 42, this is now the story when God restores everything that Job lost in his life. In Job chapter 2, 42, Verse 10, after Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his prosperity. Say with me, the Lord restored his prosperity. His prosperity. Say it again with me, his prosperity. his prosperity. We may not be as prosperous as Job, but whatever you lost, God can restore it. Amen. After Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his prosperity. Here is one thing that I haven't, that I haven't told you. When Job was in that situation, Job was without a friend. He has three friends. The three friends of Job make an appointment to see and meet Job that day. When they see Job at a distance, they wept because they could no longer identify Job. Remember, the business is gone. The children is gone. There is no more food to cook for dinner tonight. Job is bankrupt. The wealthy man that you used to see, it's gone. And by the way, I didn't tell you earlier that the wife of Job lose her mind. One day she said to Job, why don't you curse God and die? You just have lost your ten children and here is a wife who lost her mind. Job lost everything. You don't want a wife or a husband that is mentally ill. In Job's situation, the wife lost the minds. But Job was able to, pre pre to prevent his sanity because in the midst of a crisis, he prays and still continue to worship the Lord. Some of you here, you could have been dead of suicidal inclinations already. Some of you here, you could have been dead because of loneliness or wrong choices. Or maybe you were seduced to run with another man. If it's not because of your worship and your praises to God, you are completely destroyed and away from God. You are still here because you have made the right choice. Amen. Job made the right choice. And he said this, I will worship God despite of the loss. And here is now at the last part of the story that God said to Job, I want you to forgive your friends. Because sometimes when you are going through a crisis, there are well-meaning people that will advise you as if they are the expert in your situation. They will advise you that maybe you should separate from your husband, or maybe you should kick out your son from the house, or maybe you should do this to your in-laws. And they are well-meaning, but the advice doesn't carry the counsel of God. And in the process, some of us here can listen to the wrong advice. And in the process, some of us here can be discouraged because we paid attention to the advices that we are not supposed to receive. Because the Bible said in Psalm chapter 1 that we should not stand in the counsel of the wicked, but we should only receive the counsel of the righteous. You 
say this, if your friends are ungodly and un unrighteous, the counsel or the advice that is coming out of their mouth is also unrighteous. If you would like to have righteous suggestions, righteous comfort, and godly comfort, you need to have godly anointed friends that should speak into your life. Sometimes your employer is well meaning to advise you. It, it looks like they love you because they, you have worked for them to, for between five to seven years. But if they are not righteous, their wisdom may not be the wisdom that God wants you to hear and to receive. The problem with the three friends of Job is this. They are trying to advise him and they thought their advice is the reason for Job's malady. Now, they have all the advices to Job. But no one among them has an idea of the spirit realm. Say with me, spirit realm. Spirit realm. They are clueless that the adversity, the problem, the crisis, the difficulty, and the sickness that Job encountered was because of the battle in the realm of the spirits. So sometimes people can say anything. They can blah, 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 all kinds of things. But if you don't have discernment, say with me, discernment. Discernment, discernment of the things in the spirit, your advice could be completely in the opposite direction of what God wants you to hear. So God said to Job, I want you to forgive your friends. There are people that in their well-meaning efforts, well-intentioned effort, had advised you wrongly. You need to forgive them. You know why? If you don't forgive them, if you continue to hoard offense in your heart, those people can be your friends, but they become an offender to your blessing. Because if you don't forgive them, you are robbing yourself of your own blessing. You are robbing yourself of your own restoration and double portion. God said to Job, I want you to forgive your friend. Job forgave his friends. And the Bible said, after Job forgave his friends, God restored his prosperity. And the Bible said, and doubled, say with me, double. Double. And double his previous possessions. Why? Wow. Why did God, why is it that when God restores, it's double? Here's what. The first portion is a replacement blessing to what you have lost. Remember that word, replacement blessing. The second portion is to pacify you, the broken. That's why you need the double portion. Lord, here is the replacement, and here is the pacifier blessing. Now you are happy because the house is back. People of God. Remember this, in Job's case, he lost everything, not because he sinned. Sin was not mentioned. He lost everything because he was petitioned by the devil. If the reason for your crisis, if the reason for your malady, if the reason for your adversity and problem is because you were petitioned by the devil, whatever you lost, as long as you keep your faith in God and make a Job-like declaration that I will still worship God in spite of the loss, you are going to see it back. Yeah. And here is what. If you keep your faith, despite of the loss of the house, the car, the rice land, the real estate, if you keep the faith, even though you lost them at one point, look at me, you did not lose anything. Because your faith in God will make you see it again. That's why people of God, if you understand that God restores whatever you are going through now, it doesn't really matter. Because 
the double portion blessing is always Amen. better Amen. and greater than the one that you lost. Amen. In fact, Christianity is the only faith that whatever you lost, you can see it back. Amen. The Bible says that God gave Job children again. And the children that God gave him are far much more beautiful than the ones that they had lost. And even the camels, even the camels and the oxen and the ship were doubled. There were 7,000 ship. When it was restored, it came back to be 14,000. The 5,000 camel came back to be 6,000. And the 1,000 yoke of ox, the 500 yoke of oxen that was lost becomes 1,000. And here's what. The 500 female donkeys becomes 1,000 female donkeys. What is funny in this situation? The Bible mentioned about camel. It did not mention the gender of the camel. <laughs> the Bible mentioned that the oxen were lost. It did not mention the gender of the oxen. But when the donkeys were stolen, the Bible really mentioned it was the female donkeys that were gone. And when the female donkeys were restored, it is already double than what was stolen. Have you ever thought if those donkeys were pregnant when they were stolen? <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? The, the Bible emphasizes it's the female donkeys. Yeah. You know what will happen? Here is the beauty. If you can see the end yes. from the beginning, assuming the donkeys were pregnant, so the robbers were the midwives of the pregnant donkeys. <laughs> what actually the Lord did was this. Pinapahinga ng Panginoon si Job para yung mga magnanakaw ang magpaanak sa mga donkeys. So sometimes you thought it's a penalty that you work in Hong Kong, but actually it's arrest. Yes. God used the thieves and the robbers to become midwives of the donkeys. And when it came back, eh, the baby donkeys and the donkey were like, Ma, you were back. And Job was like, I'm here. Double portion. God, God removed the job and the battle from the blessing. People of God, sometimes you work so hard to arrive to your blessing. There is a battle in order for you to arrive to your blessing. There is a battle for you in order to arrive to your breakthrough. But sometimes God is going to work out circumstances that the battle is removed. The fight is removed. And all that you have to do is to wait on God to finish what he is doing. Because when it comes back, the restoration blessing is better. You have rested physically. Yeah. Oh my God. Some of you here, you are so tired physically. Who among you here wants a one year vacation? You are so tired physically. Mentally, you are tired. Emotionally, you are tired. What the Lord did was his job. Let these people rub the donkeys. Let them become the midwives. You rest. I'll give you boils. The Bible said there, Job has boils. So Job, while well, Job was scraping all his boils, all the robbers and thieves were midwiving the, 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 the pregnant donkeys. And the Lord said, I'm just going to allow you to heal your body because you can do all of this. You need to rest. Just focus on the healing of your body. Some of you here, you have migraines. God wants you to focus on your physical healing. God, the Lord is showing you, you have hypertension. God wants you to focus on your physical healing. Some of you here, you have disease given by your employers because you are so oppressed, used, abused. You were cursed. And God said, let me remove this part so that your body can rest. But if you don't see the end from the beginning, you thought it's the worst. God showed to Job that sometimes there are circumstances that you don't understand. But if you can see the end from the beginning, you are better off because God knows what he's doing. <laughs> a humor. Here is Job who had boils from head to toe because after the devil had stolen everything from him, he is 
not happy that all the material blessings were taken from Job. You know what, what the devil did? He gave Job boils. The Bible said Job had boils from head to toe. Can you imagine that having boils? What is a Tagalog of boils? Pigsa. From your head to toe? But your armpit moment, pigsa. That's too much. <laughs> I have never seen a description in the Bible that your pig saw is from head to toe. But that is what exactly had happened to Job. You can't even sit because your pig saw will be... I don't know. your pig saw mo. You can't even lean your back on the bed because sasabog your pig saw mo. So maybe Job was sleeping, standing. Just to, pres just to preserve and protect the pig saw. But I'm telling you this, the Lord said, the Lord said to Job, Job, you are going to pray for your friends in order to forgive them. And here comes you. You said, God, I'm the one who is working in Hong Kong. I work so hard six times a day. I'm the one sending the money. And all of them in the Philippines, they're all okay. And you want me to enter it for them? No way. <laughs> Here is Job, who is in the worst situation, and God asked him, you enter it for your friends, but the friends were very healthy. Job is the one who was a pig sock from head to toe. Sometimes, the person who is in the worst situation is the best intercessor. Yeah. You can use your pain, you can use your misery, you can use your sickness to extract a level of intercession that you have never prayed. And here is what is funny. The, the, the Lord said to, to the Job's true friends, Give Job the balls and the oxen and the donkeys because Job is going to make me a sacrifice in order for to forgive your sin. You are so worried that you don't have money anymore to spend. Our people are asking in the Philippines, Give me money. Remember the story of Job. When Job has nothing, no more oxen, no more sheep, no more camels, no more donkey. You know what the Lord did? Let me find your friends. You? You have camels, you have donkey, you give it to Job. <laughs> you get it? You are so worried, you have nothing. So you work worried. You are like, you're not happy with your job and you thought your employer is the enemy. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> you have forgotten the dimension of grace. The Lord is going to turn around. Who are your friends? I am going to extract camel from them. Give me a little bit because Anna needs financial help to send to school her son or her daughter. My Lord, you need to learn the ways of God. The dimension of grace is not salary. It is not weight. It works differently. Once you learn the ways of the Spirit of God, you will love the Lord more than this life that God has given you. Right and left, keep the faith. And tell your neighbor because you are going to see it back. That's the condition. You keep the faith because you are going to see it back. In fact, at the end of the story, it doesn't mention on what had happened to the enemy. The enemy is still a loser because God vindicated Job, restored everything that he had lost, and Job was wealthier now than then. I am telling you this. Those of you who are suffering from a spirit of grief of what could have been if I have done that, what should have been, what should have happened if I have made this decision, forget about it. I am calling for the breaker anointing to destroy the spirit Spirit of grief on you because the restorative blessing is greater than what you have lost. The grace is available for you to be forgiven, for you to be restored, and for you to enter into the place of blessing. People of God, if you can believe God in this level, He will show to you how great He is.
rather buy a seeker. Praise the Lord. If I did not believe God that what I have seen in the spirit through a dream will not manifest in the natural, I could have missed coming into this place. I could have missed the event in Iloilo. Revival was missed. Your choices today, your decision today will determine your future tomorrow and the future of your loved ones that are looking up to you. I am telling you, it's not about Hong Kong. It's not about your employer. It's about you keeping the faith and entering the dimension of praise. People of God, it's about time for you to taste, enjoy, and discover the double portion, which is a restoration blessing. Stand up. Rabbi